everybody to part two, the exciting conclusion of volleyball statistics here. Um, thanks for taking part. Um, what we're going to do here is, you see I have a couple windows up. First is Stat Crew, and the other is uh, some game tape that uh, I borrowed from West Liberty. And the first thing that I'd like to do is just kind of watch some game tape, and this is what I would recommend you do, and it's what I call essentially working with a net. Um, the first time that you want to do live scoring, um, you want to have some sort of um, safety behind you in terms of either somebody doing it by hand in addition to whatever you're going to try and do electronically. And then as you move forward, you compare what you do electronically to what uh, people have generated by hand, and then you can start to see how close you are getting. Uh, and that's not to say that the people that do it by hand have it 100% uh, correct either. So there is a margin of error um, that you both should be working from. But anyway, um, so what I would recommend doing is going and watching a game. And as you try to understand statistics like we did in the first video, um, now you can start to translate into, the, into understanding stat crew and calling them. So um, what we're going to do is just kind of go through some plays. Um, and what I'm going to do here, because I do not know the players' names or numbers or anything like that, I'm just going to call the actions as we see it in the stat crew in code. So I'll say V for serve and W for West Liberty when it's applicable. But uh, I'm not going to be able to say numbers because I, I don't know them very well. So what we have is a V, W, 4 here. And then a set, an attack, and a dig, D. S, A, D, S, A, and a kill. There was contact there, and the ball went out of bounds, so that's a kill for uh, Kutztown, I believe. And so once you do that, you'd have to put in the uh, assist on that. So now it's going to be V, K. I don't know that number. V, K, S, A kill. And we certainly like those quick plays. Um, and so what you need to do uh, in Stat Crew is just kind of get into the rhythm of typing some of these plays. And now I had to use different rosters. Uh, I didn't have anybody's roster to put in, so I've got Stanford and Hawaii from the samples menu. So uh, we'll put S for Stanford and uh, team uh, served by numbers. We'll just use 11. Uh, and then that's when the, the play starts. And as you can see, the bottom of the screen here are your different options. Uh, so it, it, it leads you along, obviously, but you still need to know uh, what direction the play is going. So most likely after a serve is going to be um, some sort of set. And as you can see up top here, the play is now saying that these are Hawaii's players. And so we're going to put four and attack. As you can see here, we're going to put A, and we're going to give her uh, watch attack number, we're at 7, and we're going to call it a kill. And since 4 set it, she'll get the assist. And there you have a play, we'll call it sample 77 just for fun. And there you go. Okay, now a few things that helped me when inputting some plays is uh, I always like to be above court level. Uh, it's really difficult to see players at courts at court level, but sometimes you, you don't get that option. And the other thing I like to do is sit off center a little bit, um, so that I could see the players' numbers a, a little bit better as they're on the front and back. If I sat right in the middle where the net was, um, I had a little bit more difficult time. So I'd kind of like to sit off center. Uh, a couple of stat crew things that might help you out is this F6 button. Here it says that uh, you know F6, um, and that will toggle which side they're on. So it helps might help you visually to see um, uh, to have the stat crew represent what's actually you're seeing on the court. Uh, the other uh, thing that I know some people utilize is this F5 primary setter. And so if you know your team's primary setter, you use one setter. You can put it in, and as the game goes on, you realize that they're using number 15. Okay, now that now here's how you use that. You've put that in. You've put it in F5. So let's go with a V, S, and we'll go with another serve 11. And we're going to hit a set. Now instead of putting the player's number, as you see it's asking for, I hit the comma. And then it automatically puts in the player that we put in for our setter. And we'll say an attack and a kill. Oh, 
I need a number. Seven. Kill. And the assist will go to 15. And again, all I had to do was put the uh, comma in there. So that helps keep things go right along. Um, the comma is right next to the M, so you don't have to reach, your fingers don't have to reach up to do a number, which can sometimes be difficult. Um, a couple other things that helped me um, get some things squared away is in uh, game control. And here you get to the number sign, and that's the adjust score. So uh, as, the, as the game is going along, it's it can be difficult to let's say you got uh, you missed uh, you missed an ace somewhere now you know who did it and you're going to insert it somewhere but you need to get that score right because we're doing live scoring just go ahead and fix the score and there you go okay so that kind of keeps things moving along the other thing I always like would recommend is have a scrap sheet of paper where you can put down you know you're going to have hundreds of lines here of plays well, maybe you're going to have more than 100. And uh, you kind of know as you're going along and typing where you've maybe made a mistake, and you're going to need to write that line down or that, that group of lines where you can kind of dissect it. So I need to edit lines, you know, 24 through 26. I need to look. I think there is an error in there. Now, another uh, little tip um, is that sometimes you have long rallies, and the play is going back and forth, back and forth, and... At some point, you missed an over, and you have the statistics for the wrong player or for the wrong team. So you're trying to call number seven for Hawaii, but unfortunately, you got onto Stanford somehow. So the way that I fix that is you hit the down arrow to edit your plays, and then you go into uh, the game. And then all you need to do, and this isn't going to make sense because there isn't a whole lot of play here, but let's just say we need to switch this. We're going to insert a play before. All we need to do is put it in over. And say no. Well, it's, it's, it's asking that because it's looking for a kill. But in general, if you've got just a, a general rally that didn't end up, uh, that didn't end up in a point immediately as you see everything here is pretty much ended up in a point um, that, that'll help you maybe get to some things squared away in the middle of that rally and some and so those are some of the tips that I used in for stat crew and again the uh, if you can get one caller that's great if you can get two callers I think that's even better one caller for each team and obviously they switch as the game goes on but uh, you need to get used to talking in code and watching the play and so part one is the first video where we talked about understanding statistics and then part two is actually translating those statistics into live scoring which is the goal for all of our institutions to provide excellent coverage of our well-deserved volleyball athletes so again I don't profess to be an expert in in stat crew or volleyball but hopefully uh, some of these tips help you out and we can uh, continue to to try and capture the elusive live scoring of volleyball. Again, call me or email me if you have any questions or uh, any other tips that we can pass along to everybody else. Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this. Appreciate it.